Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode from our 1.19 series where we are exploring the wild update. My name is The Little Red and in our last episode we made this bridge right here and this mini dock and we made this lovely little axolotl pond except I in the meantime added some seagrass and it looks way better. But my favorite thing that we made last episode, we added banners to all of our different builds around our area and it turned out amazing. So, so far in this world, we've gone to the overworld and built a bunch, we've built in the nether, but we haven't built in the end. So that's what we're doing in today's episode. Let me show you what I'm thinking. Before we get too far ahead of ourselves, we're going to grab our pumpkin just in case and uh, stick this on our head. And I need to fix the texture. And voila, we've got the pumpkin on our head, but we have our armor hidden. Now we're ready to go to the end. Now to get down to our stronghold room, we have to walk a lot and I'm kind of tired of doing this. So we are going to work on a different method of getting down to our stronghold room. And I think using some lily pads and glass is gonna be the way. So this is our platform. It ain't very pretty, it ain't very cozy. We're gonna change that today. We're also gonna work on transforming this into one of those fallen logs like what we actually have in our stronghold room so that they kind of mirror each other. And we're going to work on transforming this end gateway here into a lovely dark oak tree. So now that you know the plan, let's go get some supplies. Oh, and I picked up my bed. So now we are back at spawn. <gasps> nice, okay. Well, it's good to see the old uh, swamp and spruce and birch. And uh, somewhere around here is our little mangrove forest. Yes, there it is. And now we fly on home. On our way back home, we pass by a pillager outpost and I figured we would check the chest just in case it gets us a goat horn since that's where they can be located in the 1.19 update. <gasps> seek. What are you? What's Seek? <gasps> We found our first goat horn! And I wouldn't have found it if I wouldn't have gotten lost on the way back home. But uh, we need to keep going back home so I don't get attacked by these guys. Thanks for the goat horn, guys. And just like that, we're home. And I seriously love our area at night so much. Like, this is so pretty at night. But it is time to sleep. And now that we're back home, let's go back and grab some supplies and get working on these projects because we got a few of them. Now for our first project, we are going to actually take this block of lapis and all of this glass, and we are going to convert it into blue dye. And that's exactly what we started doing, changing lapis into blue dye, blue dye into blue glass, putting the blue glass into our shulker box, and then making the last bit of blue glass that we needed for our project. And we are going to go on an adventure, but we are grabbing some of our lily pads to go as well. Let's go work on this first project. So we are over by our ocean monument and the way to get down to our stronghold. And I want to make surface access to our stronghold room. So what we're going to do is go down to our stronghold room and figure out the coordinates so that I can place the glass and make a little tube so I can just plop on down there. All right, so this is the exact coordinates of where I need to just dig straight down to get into our stronghold room. So let's get into it. All right, there we go. So the fence gates being open stops the water from continuing to fall all the way down here, but we have a nice little pond to land in. And look at there's even a frog enjoying the puddle in here already. Ugh, I love that. Do you like the new pond? I hope you do. Now to see if I can get up and out of here. So we'll see how this goes. Okay, simple enough. Oh, there's the glass I hit. Ooh. And after hitting our head on the blue glass, I decided to make some slight adjustments to it to make going up and down a whole lot easier. However, when we tested it out... And me trying to get my stuff back also failed. Nope. Alright. Long way it is. Then I finally was back inside our stronghold room and collected up all of my stuff. I did end up losing some things. I'm not sure how, but... We continued on with our project. Made some final adjustments to our entry and exit tunnels and did one final test. 
Okay, I think we did it. The water stops here. We have blue glass there, and then this is our little tunnel to just rocket ourselves up and out. And before we can call this project done, we had to do one last full test to see if we can actually get up and out without dying. Hopefully we don't die again, but it's fine if we do. All right, let's test this out. Yes! It worked! Oh my gosh, this is so much nicer and a way more direct path to get into our little area here. Ugh, that's, that's so fun. And having a little pond here for the uh, little froggies is also pretty great because they've already been splashing around in it. All right, project number one, done. We have an easy way to get down to our stronghold. On to the next project. Which that next project is going to involve grabbing these shulker boxes full of logs and leaves and going to the end. Alrighty, the first thing we are going to transform is this little portal right here. We're going to turn this into a tree stump to match the other side of the stronghold portal. So let's get right into it. Just like that, we now have a matching tree stump in the end to match what we have in the stronghold room. So let me show you the inside. It's literally the exact same concept as the one in our stronghold room. We just have trap doors that we just jump down into whenever we need to. And that way from an aerial view, if we come flying in here, we can just land and almost die. But this way we can just land and just flip open one of the trap doors and go into the end. I think this turned out so great, but let's put some shaders on to look at it. And there we go. The Aurora Borealis, the Northern Lights looking so cool as well. But this is what we got. I figured that the end rods would just make it look a little bit more glowy and pretty, but just with the moss carpets kind of uh, not letting the Endermen spawn too close. I think this turned out so good. Lots of stripped dark oak. We used some of the mangrove roots in there because it blends with dark oak really well. Slabs, fences, lots of little greenery bits in here. The amethyst, vines, glow lichen. I think this looks so good for our little end portal. Granted, it looks a little strange that it's literally the only thing decorated in the end, but there's more projects coming. So now that this project is all done and looking all cute and cozy and vibey, it's time to work on the end gateway.
And here it is, our dark oak and gateway tree. And, oh, excuse me, sir. And this is so cool, I love it. And as an aerial view, here's our tree. And my favorite part of this, I think has to be the fact that we have these roots and this one right here is kind of hanging off the edge. We added a lot of different details. We've got stairs, we've got vines, we've got, sir, could you not do that? Thank you. We've got moss carpets to kind of help with some of the spawn rates getting close to here. But then we've got end rods, glow berries, we've got glow lichen, we've got little pots with little plants all around. And it's so cute, I love it. We've got floating lanterns as well, but I think we're all just wanting to see this in shaders, right? And here it is our dark oak tree and it is so cool looking in shaders i absolutely love this just the glowing vines lamps end rods the glow lichen all the way down it just gives it so much detail and it's amazing and from a different angle here's what we've got and you'll notice we have a door because we made an interior and opening this door we have our dragon egg. This is where I chose to keep the dragon egg and here it is guys. We've got a little pond with the chorus fruit causing these little purple particles everywhere. And I made this more of a purpley vibey cozy room because well the dragon egg has purple accents in it so it was fitting. But this is the room and if we look all the way up it's just bookshelves with some lanterns. We've got little potted plants, some amethyst. We've got books and amethyst shards on the floor. A little bit of storage but mostly just a very vibey place to host our little dragon egg using the amethyst so we can walk and hear the beautiful noises but this is so cute and adorable and at the top I blocked off where the actual end gate is so let me show you how we get into the end gate now from outside the little door there if you look up in the top there's a doorway and that's how we get into the end gateway room so if I just do some elytra flying then we just pop open this door here's the room it's very small I admit but we don't need that much room to get into the end gateway portal and honestly I'm okay with this just being the space that we have for it so we also added a, a chorus plant in the top here kind of hidden away because it also adds to those purple particles that we see coming down and out but that is our end gateway all decorated and there's just one last project to work on and the last project is fixing that thing so we are going to design this into something really cozy and cute we're gonna turn this little patch of obsidian into a cute little floating island with a little bridge enjoy the time lapse And after almost falling off of the water a few different times, we're done. And this place looks so cute, guys. So we have our path that keeps us safe so we can run all the way down here. I use the azalea bushes and the flowering ones to just kind of create a walking path. We have our moss carpet in the middle. I really need to turn off Enderman griefing. Oh my word. All right, fixing it with moss for now. But we just have our walkway here and coming all the way down, guys, we just have all sorts of bushes kind of lining the edge. We're using anvils as a fencing because we have our iron farm and 
we made a little island here and then on the other side we have a little custom tree surrounded by some end rods for some extra cozy lighting there's some mushrooms down here as well but i think this is so cute so let's turn on some shaders and here we go it looks so cute i absolutely love it i did test to make sure that nothing else around this platform gets removed it's only what is on this obsidian square if i put anything on top of it that gets removed but everything around here stays how it is but i think this is so cute our little glowing mushroom island looks amazing and our little custom tree island also looks so good with the shaders on and I absolutely love our little walkway. It's so cute. And here it looks from the sky flying around it. I think this looks so good. Here's what our little floating island looks like with the end rods all around it, our little dirt island and our pathing, and then our little mushroom island. I have never actually decorated the spawn platform for the end like this, and I absolutely love this. It fits our vibe so well. And on that note, that's all the time I have for today. Don't forget to leave a like on this video, subscribe if you wanna see more. I'll see you next time.